ഹലോ ഐ എം ഡോക്ടർ ഫെസി ലൂയിസ് സീനിയർ കൺസൾട്ടൻറ്റ് ആൻഡ് അസിസ്റ്റൻറ്റ് പ്രൊഫസർ ഡിപ്പാർട്ട്മെൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് റീപ്രൊഡക്റ്റീവ് മെഡിസിൻ ആൻഡ് സർജറി അമൃത ഫെർട്ടിലിറ്റി സെൻറ്റർ എം ജി റോഡ് കൊച്ചിൻ ടുഡേ ഐ എം ഗോയിങ് ടു ടോക്ക് അബൌട്ട് ഇൻ വിട്രോ ഫെർട്ടിലൈസേഷൻ ഓർ ഇൻ ദ ലൈമൻസ് ടൈം ടെസ്റ്റ് ടു ബേബി ട്രീറ്റ്മെൻറ്റ് സോ ദ ഓട്ടോമാറ്റിക്കലി വി വിൽ ബി സീങ് ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ടെസ്റ്റ് ടു ബേബി ഓർ ഐ വി സെൻറ്റേഴ്സ് കമ്മിങ് അപ്പ് അക്രോസ് ദ കൺട്രി ആൻഡ് ദ സ്റ്റേറ്റ് സോ വി വിൽ ബി ഡൗട്ടിങ് all those who are coming to the uh, infertility center will be very much apprehensive and most of them ask the whether i will have to undergo the test tube baby treatment or ivf treatment it is not so so uh, before coming to that we must be knowing in the body of the female when the egg is formed that will goes into the uterine tubes on the side of the uterus there is tubes and when the sperm reaches again sperm fuses in the female body only in the tubes so in test tube baby treatment what we are doing is that 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 fusion of the egg and sperm is being uh, done outside the body that is in vitro fertilization or the ivf treatment or as i told previously in the lemons term test tube baby treatment so by the test tube baby treatment what we are doing is that that uh, that uh, fusion of the egg and sperm is being facilitated outside the body for that we need a special incubators where the egg and sperm is being is allowed to grow outside the body in the similar circumstances of the uterine and uh, uh, uterus and for that we need a special media also so that is known as the ivf treatment that is really indicated only in those patients when the tubes of the uterus is completely blocked or when the sperm is not uh, uh, being produced outside the body, outside the testis that means the sperm are produced in the testis but it, it is not coming outside the body or the sperm coming outside the body is very low and those patients who has been treated by the conventional treatment like intrauterine insemination and still not conceiving those patients uh, test tube baby treatment or ivf is uh, indicated or the other class is that unexplained couple where the routine treatment of iui or the medicines is not giving them parenthood those couples we can do the uh, the test tube baby treatment or ivf treatment as a last measure but the problem uh, even after this ivf which has been uh, first been successfully uh, done in 1978 the first baby louis brown is born in 1978 in uk and even after this 40 years of the development of the test tube baby treatment still it is a costly treatment because uh, uh, the whatever the media used the, the medicines used are very costly uh, that is one of the main drawback but when we compare with the initial days of ivf treatment for example i started the uh, infertility treatment about uh, more than 20 years back at that time the the cost compared to that is almost same so the people affordability of the of the of the people to go for ivf treatment and the awareness for the ivf treatment has increased but still it is not uh, it is costly and most of the peop, common people are not able to afford the ivf treatment that is the main drawback of the main drawback of the ivf treatment second thing is that however we do the success rate is limited that means in normal couple for one cycle the chance of pregnancy is 20 percentage but when we do ivf the chance of uh, pregnancy in one cycle is 45 to 50 percentage but it is not 100 percent that is the second uh, problem uh, attached with the uh, ivf treatment but now lot of centers are there Uh, with a lot of facilities uh, around the, the state and around the uh, across the country is there but when we uh, uh, go to a ivf center we must clearly understand whether we have to uh, correct any factors uh, particularly for that couple like if there is water accumulated on the side of the uterus like hydrosalpings or any any correctable factors are there like uh, intrauterine polyp or fibroid is there that has to be really removed then those things will improve the pre- chance of pregnancy rate that we have to clearly see and uh, really indicated patients definitely it is advisable to go for ivf treatment at the earliest because main reason for the for the not uh, successful of the ivf other than the other uh, routine factors is the female age if the female age increases the success rate comes down the same ivf treatment uh, if you if the female age is near 40 comes uh, to the half of the and normal success rates that is the thing what we have to be uh, really uh, uh, really look into that next thing is that the in ivf treatment is the icsi treatment as i told previously even if the sperm is uh, not coming out we if you can extract few sperms from the testis 
we can uh, take the uh, retrieve the eggs from the female and that is being fused from outside the body by using a microscope known as micro manipulator then the question arises how will you take the sperm it can be taken out from the testes by the tissa that is testicular sperm aspiration or tissa percutaneous epidermal sperm aspiration or still if the testicular size is small or the function is less we can retrieve the sperm on the day when we take the egg using the micro tissa procedure under the microscope so these are the the revolutionaries which has been uh, occurred over the last few years but the other dramatic uh, uh, development which occurred over the last few years is the the vitrification that means the freezing of the embryos when you f- fuse the egg and sperm that is been uh, produce producing the embryos that embryos initially that we have to put the all the embryos or the uh, three or four embryos in the same um, cycle because we cannot freeze that when you freeze that uh, embryo quality will come down so that that lead to multiple pregnancies also so now for the last 10 years the vitrification that means the that's a new technique for how the embryo has been frozen outside the body by f- doing the vitrification of the freezing the embryos suppose if you get 10 embryos we can put uh, one or two embryos in the first cycle and uh, freeze the subsequent embryos in two or three straws so if the first pre- cycle if the pre- patient does not get pregnant next cycle we need not have to make the uh, uh, wife undergo the ovary egg, egg stimulation retrieve the oocytes all those things we can just defreeze the uh, embryos when the uterus lining is prepared by few with few tablets and when it is ready we can uh, defreeze or thaw it and the embryos what we can get uh, we can transfer into the uterus so each cycle we will get a pregnancy rate of 45 to 50 percent so the net uh, pregnancy rate in, improves with one uh, egg collection and also the net uh, the, the percentage of success rate for that couple uh, with one oocyte collection will be going up so that is the main revolutionized uh, session of the uh, ivf technique which occurred in the last uh, 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 t- 10 years next the common uh, uh, doubt people will be having is that whether the ivf treatment in- involves any surgery it doesn't involve any surgery it just uh, uh, involved uh, collection of the egg under small anesthesia and it is an op procedure only thing wife has to come to the uh, hospital for 7 to 8 visit uh, over a span of 3 uh, 3 weeks and when the uh, egg is collected and that day husband has to give the semen Uh, and uh, putting back the embryos that involves uh, proper counseling at each stage and each stage we have to tell that the what is the cost involved and what is the procedure and we have to get a detailed consent from the couple that is the thing which is uh, really needed and uh, now because it is an op procedures and lot of uh, uh, facilities of ivf and modern techniques are available uh, in lot of centers around the uh, around india i am happy to tell that uh, uh, now with the advent of the all latest tech, uh, technologies for the ivf treatment we are happy to serve the infertile couple with all the facilities uh, whichever is available in the world to the infertile couple in amrutha fertility center mg road cochin and we have been able to serve the infertile couple for a long time and uh, we are happy to get good results with that